Victor, I'm here with a new weekly painting and this time we are going to keep talking about the box walkers and I will explain how a way to do this type of tentacles that we have in some box walkers. We have this one here and for example this one have this type of protuberance is dropping out. So I'm going to do a pinkish um, pink type of uh, tentacles. So uh, in this tutorial I will explain how I do them and I realize I drift this one, when the tentacles to business. So, I start using Emperor's Children, okay? I start with a quite um, very bright pink, and we are going to base coat the tentacles with Emperor's Children. Okay, so I will do that, this is quite a fast step, and I'm back once it's done. Okay, once the pink is completely dry. Now I'm going to do a wash with a Reglan Flay Shade, okay? It will give a brown color, a brown tonality that will help to make it a little bit less bright, okay? I want to go a little bit, uh, I would say, browner in a way, right? But we'll, we'll, we will keep the pink touch. So I apply this one and you can see that it's giving more a brown shading. If you want something more vibrant, you can use a red wash on this step. But I prefer to give this this type of brown look. I think it looks more decayed. And I will wait at this device before doing any further step. Okay. So again, I apply this and I wait at this device, okay? So I will know that this device and I'm back. So once the flesh wash has dry, now I'm going to use Blue Tools Pink. Here is a contrast paint. I will use to give much deeper and brighter shape, um, shades. We have to be careful here on this part because the, the paint tends to slip down from the tentacle and we are going to have some paint accumulated there. This is why I had to repaint a little bit with pink before because there was too much wash and was too dark. But here we need to be as well careful. Okay? So let's put first here. And you can go a little bit over the green if you want. Not too much. This contrast is one. Is I think is one uh, is one that is covering a lot compared to other contrast. Okay, but will help as well to give a nice shading. So I, I, I do the other tentacles and I'm back. Okay, so this hole looks like now, and the next step I'm going to do is try to do some heavy likes. So I'm going to use uh, again Emperor Children. I will put some in my palette because the one I have is too warm, too wet, and I want it a little bit less wet. It's too thin. to do now is to do some highlights and we are going to enhance the texture that the skull has okay so it will be very visible at the beginning don't worry okay we do it like that Now what I'm going to do is to 
create this type of texture. same on the other side okay like that See if I can see the camera a little bit. No, we are going to do the same. We are going to do the same here. Okay, and we are going to do the same on these rings. These ones are bigger rings. I know that now is very stark, it's very visible, very harsh. We are going to solve that. Okay, I will do the other smaller tentacles and I'm back for the next step. Okay, we have finished doing the part with the pink and now I'm going to take Voluptuous pink to go over. But this time we will use it a little bit thinner. Okay or with less quantity, so I'm going to try to not put too much so I can keep I don't cover the work, okay, so you can see no what I mean Texture is visible through the contrast. I even see. And I'm going to do the same on the other ones. Ok, 
Okay. What we are going to do now? I'm going to take purple. Uh, we are going to use the Kalalilac. Oops, sorry that it did. And I'm going to apply the Kalalilac at the very base. Well, the very this is quite. The idea is to apply it here at the beginning of this tentacle so we can have like something like that. Okay, we do the same on this one. And that's all. So this is how I will do the tentacles of this type of protuberances on the box walker. So I hope you like this one. Please let me know what do you think. If I like, if you have liked this video, and as usual, thanks a lot for watching. And see you again later. Bye.